So let's think about this. It's so... People have blamed God. I've done this before when I was unsafe too. God, why if why do you allow these things to happen? Why do you allow bad things to happen in this world? Why do you allow this? Why do you allow that? And I finally was able to get that answer and those revelations as I began to... As I turned to the Lord completely, over time, he did show me some things. And one of the things he's told me, just one thing, is that man has choice. He has given man choice. Right? Now, guys, to bring it closer to home, think about the things that you have done in your life. Someone, you may have reached a point where you've hurt people, you've done people wrong, you have... you. You know, you started stealing little candies and now you you started robbing and stealing in the stores. You were fighting in the schoolyard. Then you start fighting, you know, fighting the police, whatever it is. Somebody may look at you and be like, why did God allow this person? Or based on the things that you may have done to someone else, God, people may be blaming God and saying, God, why did you allow that to happen to me? Just the same way you would say, God, why do you allow this, this person to do this or for me to encounter this or experience this? But guys, what would you have thought, what would be the right thing for God to do when you were getting ready to do your sins, when I was getting ready to do my sins back in those days? Was he supposed to stop us? Think about the things that you just did. Because the right, what people think is God should have stopped this. So should he stop you? When you're getting ready to do certain things, you're saying, well, basically, God, you need to take me out before I do this wrong. Take me out, God, before I get to this place. Take me out, Lord, before I do my next sin, before I do my next worst thing. Lord, kill me and take me off the the face of the planet so that we will have, um, you know, we can have damage control. Because that's really what it is. God, why are these bad things happening? Well, first of all, it's happening because people are choosing to do certain things. But ultimately, what we really think is, God, if you're God, then this shouldn't be happening. You shouldn't allow it. So we have to always, because the the planet and the things that's going on in this world is not happening at the hands of animals. It's happening at the hands of human beings. And it's not happening autonomously. It's not just a natural, automatic, or, or uncontrollable thing. It's a choice. All the destruction that we see in this world, all the wickedness, all the darkness, All that we see is coming from other human beings who make choices. That includes us. Now you may say, oh, I don't do that. I don't kill. I don't do this. I don't do that. But God doesn't look at that. Those same people that's killing started off doing the little things that you're doing. It's just at some point as you sin and as you continue to do certain things, certain demonic spirits will push you even further but you are capable of doing those same things when you're saying god why do you why did you allow that to happen guys always think of this why did he allow you to do the things that you did should he stop you should he stop you dead in your tracks before you go do the next thing before you go and gossip and smear someone's name and make up things before you falsely accuse someone before you go out to cheat again on your spouse before you get ready to tell your next lie before you get ready to steal some ream of paper from work or steal documents from work should he stop you by number one letting you get caught and discovered or simply stopping your heart before you wake up to do it Guys, I'm not aiding sin. I'm not abetting sin. I'm not condoning sin. I'm not defending sin. But what we need to understand and what I understand through that, understood through that when the Lord showed it, is just how I laid it out to you. When you're saying, why does God allow this to happen? It's the same as saying, why does God allow you to do the things that you do that are sinful and wrong and deliberate and repetitious? Is he allowing you to do it? No. You're choosing to do it. You're choosing. We chose to do things regardless of all the warnings, all the near misses, all the consequences. We make choices. So the world is not as it is because God is not God, but that he has given humanity, mankind, the power of choice. We have the choice 
to do what is right, guys. We have the choice to live clean lives for Christ through the power of the Holy Spirit. So just something to think about. All right.